Just how do you process a tie? I thought Coach Carroll nailed it when he sat down with us earlier this week and said, well, it felt like a three and a half hour scrimmage. And if the Seahawks were gonna scrimmage the Arizona Cardinals, I promise you, you would see this route concept a half dozen times or more. It's about the only play to find offensively with some real meat on the bone and I think worthy of digging into a chalk talk conversation. This was the third and three overtime play, uh, two plays before the missed field goal. It was the Doug Baldwin catch and run that was phenomenal. But before that catch and run, there's a couple nuances that I want to dig into. Uh, before doing so, let me just say this. The plays that I should have broke down were the two defensive plays. Uh, what Bobby Wagner did in short yardage on the goal line, what Earl Thomas did on the goal line in his pursuit were phenomenal. But they were individual with a little help of their buddies. Utterly phenomenal stuff and worthy of a chalk talk. And eventually, at some point, I'll get to doing a defensive chalk talk. But in the meantime, we'll dig into the Doug Baldwin catch and run because there's two or three aspects to dig into. Players formations plays. Third and three, game on the line. Got to get into field position. 89 or 88's got to touch it. These are your two most trustworthy players uh, that your quarterback believes in. Uh, this offensive line, obviously challenged. A running back right now that's challenged with consistency. A Tyler Lockett that's a little bit nicked up. A Jermaine that can still make plays, uh, albeit many times with him putting it right on the money. These are the two. These are the two that separate. These are the two that are coverage busters. These are the two that Russell feels the most confidence in. So third and three, game on the line. Got to have a conversion. Players' formations plays. Get these two players involved in a formation that's going to show Russell where he can go pre-snap. Uh, and you're going to see a a two-by-two two alignment here. Uh, Jimmy Graham is split just off the line of scrimmage and immediately you have all your indicators you're used to in Chalk Talk. Press coverage, single high safety, going to be man-free. Everything says man-free to the quarterback and uh, as far as matchups go, there is no doubt if this guy sees man-free and especially all this area of the field, he's going to find a way to get 89 involved. Players, formations, plays, and ultimately this play you have seen all over the place. You've seen it in third down situations, you've seen it in red zone situations, you've seen it in goal line situations, and you will see it the rest of the way. And even though the opponent knows it, in pre-snap, the Honey Badger's got a pretty good idea of what's coming, and it's why, in fact, in their man-free coverage, this linebacker ends up being a little lurker, you know, they've got an ideal pre-snap look. Uh, Honey Badger shaded to the outside. Anything in breaking, he's going to have the help of a linebacker, should be able to collision and stop from third and three. But even with an outside alignment on Doug Baldwin, still not good enough to get out over the top of this route concept that you see time and again with the Seahawks. The little spot and the little flat route, the little rub route. Now here is where the magic is. Here is where the secret sauce is. Because this play drawn up on paper, and when they introduce it to all the young rookies, I guarantee you the route is not drawn at half a yard for Doug Baldwin and three yards for Jermaine Curse. But this is all feel. This is all nuance. This is all Doug Baldwin feeling Jermaine Curse and Jermaine Curse feeling where Doug Baldwin is in the timing of his route and cutting that route off just short enough so the Honey Badger's got to get out over the top. Doug Baldwin feeling that separation, feeling peripherally where that corner is following Jermaine and breaking it at half a yard so he can get out into space and all this good stuff here, all this football ultimately comes down to the playground. These two on these two. And even though they got an outside technique, these two have such a feel for the concept, you can't guard it. And a perfectly thrown ball gives Doug the opportunity to get up the sidelines in what should have been the game-winning play uh, before the field goal was missed. Not a lot to dig into this week, not a lot of offense, but when push finally came to shove, what do you do best? Uh, take your two guys that have run this route concept a thousand times, put them against two in space, and you'll take your chances.